Spencer Linton spoke to women's basketball coach Jeff Judkins after yesterday's West Coast Conference title game. How are the Cougars feeling about the NCAA tournament seating now? Here's that conversation with Coach Judkins. Coach, you hit a number of historic marks this season. 26 wins, most ever in BYU women's basketball history. Number 15 rankings, the highest you've ever climbed in the rankings. But obviously, every loss is disappointing. You come down to Vegas, you're losing the title game. So how are you balancing what you've accomplished this season with the immediacy of, of losing that championship game? <laughs> well, it's hard. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, when the season's are with you, look back and you enjoy all what you've accomplished. When it's going on right now, you you get a little discouraged. Like we've had, we've had so many great things go for us, and tonight just just wasn't wasn't meant to be. You know, we it comes down to who makes plays and who hits shots, uh, and they 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 did it today, and, and we didn't. But you can't take away the 26 and three. You can't take away the conference champ. You can't take away that you know, we've been ranked most of the year. You can't take that away and. And this will fire these guys up. I promise you, we'll, we'll get back. Yeah, that was my next question is, even though it is disappointing, what does that do for your team mentally when you leave here with a bad taste? And how do you use that as an advantage going into the NCAA tournament? Well, they say a lot of teams have to be hungry. That's what's going to happen. It's going to make us hungry. We, we, we got smacked in the face. We got knocked down. Are we going to get back up and dust ourselves off and say, hey, you know, we're a really good team. We've been good, and we're going to learn from this, and we're going to compete, and we're going to do what we need to do. When you don't make shots, coaches say, hey, you know, defense, physicality, there are things that you can do. What could you have done more tonight, even though the shots weren't falling, to maybe make this game a little bit closer? I probably should have isolated my best players more and try to let them, but they just set everybody in the paint and said, "Go." you know, I mean, their game plan tonight was, don't let Shaley, don't let Paisley beat us. If somebody's going to beat us, it's somebody else. And that's great. And there's been many nights that people have done that and, and players have all stepped up and done it. Um, but tonight we just we just didn't hit shots and we had them. We had open looks and we missed them. We missed them easy. And then offensively we got, especially the first of the game, we, got, we let them get too many easy baskets early where they build momentum, they build confidence. When we played them in Provo, we really locked into them early. And I think that, you know, we, we kind of said, hey, no, you're not getting that tonight. As you push forward and anticipate what type of a seeding that you're going to receive in the NCAA tournament, I know there's been a lot of talk somewhere from four to a six. You told us earlier, hey, if we win the WCC tournament, we probably deserve a four. Where do you think you're going to end up on selection Sunday when all is said and done? They'll probably put us to six. Um, we probably got, you know, I thought if we won, like you said, I thought we'd be a four, maybe, maybe a five, but a four. Now losing will probably move to a six. How do you feel about that six seed line? Because I'm already hearing BYU fans say, hey, that's a tough six seed for a three seed to draw and an 11 seed in the first round for that matter. How do you feel about the six seed? It just depends who the team we match up with, you know, in that bracket. Whoever we match up, if our team matches good with them, that's all that matters because once you start the NCAA tournament, the seeding means nothing. It just becomes who you, who's your next opponent. So I think that's the key to it. What do you learn in a game like this that's going to help you prepare for whatever team you face in the NCAA? We have to be physical. Um, the NCAA teams are big, strong, and physical. So we, we have to, we're kind of undersized a little bit, but we're strong and we're smart and we're tough. And we just have to get a little bit better at that. And, I need to do a better job as a coach to get my team better defensively in the post. That's something we're going to work on for sure. Jeff Judkins is with us on BYU Sports Nation. The Cougars losing the championship game to Gonzaga, 71-59. Uh, I know it's, again, because you're just so recently removed from a bad taste and a disappointing loss, but what would you say your team has done best to this point in the season? Boy, I would say share the ball and... Um, and trust in each other, no matter how hard it is. Know that somebody's got your back. And uh, you know, it's funny they scored 70 points today. They in two games they barely scored 70 points. So it's just it's just one of those nights, and and this team will learn from it. Again, at the day removed from the Portland win, but 
I mean, you did beat the pilots, so you get a measure of revenge against them. Do you take any solace in that? <laughs> is, there, is there like a, is there some solace or a moral victory there that you, you got one back against the pilots? Well, that's nice, but we would have we would have given up something to win the championship right. here. You know, Gonzaga is a proud program too. You know, they're like us, and uh, it's fun to, it's fun to compete against each other. When you were in the locker room, walk us through the morale of the team following the loss. They were a little down, and so I, I told them, get their heads up, be proud. You're, you're conference champs. You, we didn't have to win this game to go to the NCAA tournament. We're in the tournament, um, and, we're, and you know we've done a lot of things together. We've gone through some really great times, and we've had a few lows this year, and let's, let's, let's go after it and let's get back. Finally, if you're pitching your team to the NCAA tournament, what would you say to the committee about the team that you have coached and that you feel like they are right now? <laughs> I'd say we, I, you better watch out for us. You know, I think we're a dangerous person to play because we've got a lot of weapons. We have a lot of people that can do it. And not everybody plays us three times a year like Gonzaga, you know. And uh, so it'll be, it'll be fun playing somebody different. Coach, you've got 451 wins. Um, <laughs> how, how do you feel about that number when you assess uh, just your entire career? I mean, I, I know that uh, you're still focused on this season, but I mean, 451 is, is a pretty special number. It is. It's never thought I'd have that many. Never thought I'd be in one university as long as I've been. Um, it means two things. Well, three things. It means great players, great coaches, and a great university. That's what it means. You know, I have all the support from my administration of letting me recruit the players I need to. They they support me in my decisions, and I have coaches that work hard, that spend the hours in trying to find the players that fit the system. And I got players that can they know how to play, and they take they take coaching, they listen, and they do what they're supposed to do. Here's to at least a few more wins on the resume this year. Should we shoot for that? Yeah, let's shoot for some more wins. <laughs> Hopefully six more. <laughs> Thanks, Teddy. Congratulations Thanks on a great so season to this Thanks, point. Spencer, appreciate you.